Okay, I got in this thing where a lot of people worry about options because they think, oh, well, you know, it's easier just to do whatever. We call those people optionophobic. And it's a serious, it's a serious problem that a lot of people find in their life being optionophobic because somebody says, do you want to pay for a plastic? They're like, Why do you ask? It's my personal right. I'll, I would like paper. So you know, and then they go home and bag breaks on the way in. And go, Why did I do that? So, optophobianism is a, uh, it's a serious complication to optophobic disease. If you. Uh, uh, would like to try this Doug that I put together here in the bathroom. It's Obiconophotokex, and it's for the treatment of Opsonophobia. The overwhelming response to it is unbelievable. That's all I can say. Opsonophobism affects more than just your brain. It affects your well-being. Your, everything about you has... If you have a better... If you feel like you have options in your life, then you feel better about everything. And I'm telling you, personal, personal response to you after I've taken this drug for six weeks, I have more than recovered from being unaware of my options because I realized I have options and within the first two days that I took the drug I thought oh wait a minute if I think about this I do have options on how to behave and respond and react I can think better and I feel better about the whole it's an overwhelming response optionophobism is <sighs> they said it was untreatable <laughs> I say, optional focus.